Okay, hello, hello. I'm going to do a quick video on how to make a box and whisker chart as a little reminder from what we did in class. So I have two samples here and I need to calculate the following things. The minimum for each, so actually first I'm gonna write sample one and sample two. Oop, that's not sample two, all right. Now I'm gonna do minimum, so equals min that. And then I'm gonna do quartile. So quartile, and I want this data, and I'm gonna put comma one, because I want the first quartile. And then I'm gonna put median, there's median. Do, 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 do. Quartile three. Oops. Quartile. There's the data. Three. And then max. All right. So now my box one is going to go from the ground up to my first quartile. So this is gonna equal my first quartile. My box two is gonna go from quartile one up to my me median. So it's gonna equal my median minus quartile two. And my box three is gonna go from my quartile three down to my median. So it's gonna equal this minus my median. Okay, now my whisker top is going to go from my max down to my third quartile. So it's going to say equals my max minus my third quartile. And my whisker bottom is going to be the difference between my minimum and my first quartile. So it's going to equal that one minus that. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this whole thing over. So now I have it for both my two samples. Make that in red. So you can really see what it is there. Okay, so now to make my graph, I have to do this weird thing, and I don't know why it works this way. You highlight these three, oops. You highlight these three, and then you have to hit the command and you highlight these nine. So you have to do that over there. And then you put insert. Maybe that's what does it give me for recommended? No, I don't want that. I want I want stash column. There we go. But this is actually backwards. So I'm going to go up here to switch row column. There we go. That's what I want. Perfect. Okay. I don't want these things to say that. So now, um, depending on what order I want to do things in, I can make these invisible. So I can go to fill, say no fill on that, no fill on that. And now I can do my bottom whisker. And actually I have to move this over a little bit. So I'm going to highlight those and go to add chart element error bars, or error bar options. And I'm gonna say, um, my error bar, oh, maybe I need this, oh, there it is. So I want minus only, and I want custom, I'm gonna specify the value. And since this is the negative part, I'm gonna do it in here, and I want this whisker bottoms right here. Okay, and then I can add more error bars. And I want just plus, custom, specify value. I want the whisker tops. Oops, come on. Over here, over here, oh my God. Did that work? Okay. 
And now I already have my names here because of the way I highlighted it. I can change my chart title. If I wanted to be on a different scale, knock it down to zero, maybe just get down to five. There's a way to do that. Let's see if I can remember how to do that while I'm showing you this. Um, no, let's see. Scale options. Oh, I can't remember how to do that at this moment, but there is a way to do <laughs> There is a way to do that. Oh God. Anyhow, you now know how to make a box and whisker chart. And then you can, of course, change these colors in here to, um, you know, whatever you think is going to be appropriate. You can put a border on. Nice black border. There you go. All right. Hopefully that was helpful.